Hello everyone, Vernon McCarty here, the Financial Makeover Specialist. I work with families to create power and freedom in their finances and in their lives. So what I did a couple weeks ago is I released a video and I asked some people for some ideas. I said, look, I got a lot of great ideas that I want to share about, but I want to know what's on your mind. What are you concerned about? And I asked them if they could share. So either leave a comment below or uh, private message me. In fact, if you're open to doing that, you can do that again because I always am looking for new ideas, new content, and it's always best to hear from the people. So I got some really good responses from some people, and uh, I had a, a friend of mine who, who asked me something really intense. It was a loaded question, and it was something to the tune of, how do you, I want to know about behavioral issues and how people deal with their spending and, and what is it that has them go and, and make purchases you know, and then get on that cycle of, you know, spend the money and then kind of regret it later and then try to pay it off on your credit card or whatever your strategy is. And so it was a pretty loaded question and I kind of looked at it line by line and, and gave him a pretty good response. He told me later that he was happy with uh, the response. But I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit right now about some of the things that I see that go on out there when it comes to spending. Now look, we all like to spend money. We all like to get in, in North America. We all like, stuff right we're in the we're in the marketing machine guys we're in the eye of the beast is, we, is that what they call it the eye of the storm the eye of the beast or the belly of the beast that's the one we're in the belly of the beast when it comes to the marketing machine I like to call it psychological warfare everywhere you go you're always getting bombarded with ads and and buy this buy my stuff you know you see the car commercials it drives me absolutely bonkers because of the message it sends to our kids see the car commercial the guy pulls up He's got a decent looking car, his, his you know, girlfriend or whatever it is is waiting there for him and all of a sudden she's peeking over the roof of his car and looking at the guy across the street with the better car. And he's going, oh I feel pretty insignificant, then he looks over and realizes, oh there's a guy over there with a better car. Clearly he's a better fit. I mean, it's ridiculous the message that that sends and what's that telling our young people? Hey, go out and buy the faster car, go out and buy the bigger house, go out and get the boat, go out and go, you know, post all your pictures of your vacations on Facebook so everyone thinks that you're a somebody. We gotta learn how to live authentic lives. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. Let's talk a little bit about spending and getting stuff and, and what that's all about. So you guys have heard about, obviously you probably have one, you have a tap card, right? It's probably a credit card or even your debit card has a tap function on it, right? You walk into the store and boom, you tap it and away you go. You've got your thing, you've got your stuff. Here's what happens when people spend. When we spend, we actually get a blast, a chemical in our brain called dopamine, okay? So it's a feel good chemical that you get when you, you know, there's lots of different reasons why dopamine is released in the brain, but one of the reasons is spending, getting stuff. So believe it or not, our bankers and our credit card companies, they actually know that. They know that we get that dopamine and we're addicted to it. There's nothing wrong here, okay? But the reality of it is, what happens when you buy some new stuff? They want you to do unconscious spending. Buy some things you probably don't even need. I've got friends with clothes that have price tags on them in their closet, okay? So you get that blast of dopamine. Oh, it feels good. I love going shopping. I got my stuff. Awesome. Let me ask you this question. How do you feel when the credit card bill shows up? You feel like crap, right? You don't feel that great when you look at the big credit card balance and all the stuff you got to now pay for. And what is your, probably your first thought, or maybe it's not even a thought, maybe it's totally unconscious. Where do you want to go now? Do you want to pay off the bill or do you want to go to the mall and get more stuff? You probably want to go get more stuff and they know that. So it becomes a vicious cycle that we're sort of giving into our, our addictions, our habits. We're giving into that, uh, that feel good feeling that we get, right? So there's a whole process here. And again, like I said, the, the, big, uh, the big lending companies and whatnot, they know that the credit card companies are friends over at visa and whatnot so that sounds pretty dismal right it sounds pretty dark what do we do about it how can we make a difference well one of the things that we can do guys is we can actually create something called a cash flow plan now i'm not going to go into all the details on how the cash flow plan works but basically what we do is we figure out obviously what is our needs people call them your needs uh, in budgeting we call it your working cash flow working cash flow. So what that looks like is, let's say savings, savings, 
uh, insurance, uh, debt payments, D-E-B-T, debt payments, you know, your mort, your mortgage, you ever hear that, what that actually means, mort gauge, mort and gauge, you should look at the etymology of the word mortgage, where that came from, I'll just leave that with you, you can leave a comment and tell me what you found, so this is things that look like they're not emotional in nature, right? You get ahead by putting these things on an automated system. So this is going to be a, a bank account, okay? Working cash flow account over here. Okay, this is where all your income is going to go into. Let's see if I can get this over here. Income and expenses are going to come out. You're going to set up auto. Excuse me, watch this spelling here. Auto payments, auto payments, okay? This is gonna make your life easier. You can set up your cell phone bill, everything on auto payments. If you choose, you don't have to, I'm just saying. Basically, this is where all your payments are gonna come out of. Either automated, because it makes your life easier and it's simpler and everything gets paid on time, or you can pay them on your own if you want to kick it old school. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create another account over here, okay? This account is where we put our active cash flow. Let's call this approximately 20% of your net. 20% of your monthly net income. We've done thousands and thousands of case studies and we found that 20%, most people, most families as a household can get by pretty good with 20% of their, of their net income as their active cash flow. Now, you're probably asking, what is active cash flow? Well, that's going to be things like one thing that's pretty important that I always like to know for people is food. Like you got to buy groceries, right? But guess what? The grocery store is a pretty emotional, right? It's an emotional place. If you're having a good day, you might want to splurge a little. If you're having a bad day, you might want to, you know, get some feel good food. How many times have you gone to the grocery store and saw that, hey man, like look at that, the coffee's on sale. That's great, I can get two bags for, you know, four bucks a piece instead of six bucks a piece. Is it really, I'm saving, you know, but people justify by saying, oh, I'm saving money. Are you really saving money or are you just getting more stuff that you don't really need and, and you're actually spending more money? So that's, you know, that's kind of how they want to get you. They want to get emotionally involved in the process. And that's how we end up overspending. Everybody overspends or most people overspend in the same areas. So, um, entertainment, right? Entertainment, dining or eating out, dining. What else? Insert anything. You want to go to the movies, you want to go, ooh, you want to go to the mall, don't you? I know you want to go to the mall. All of these things that I'm talking about right here are emotional in nature. And that's where we overspend. And that's where we have the opportunity to make the difference. Clients say to me sometimes, Verna, man, my... My, like my utility bill is out of control, man. Like if I got to figure out a way to lower that thing, you know, I'd be rich if I could do that. And you know what, if you didn't have to pay utilities, maybe you could do something with that money. But here's the thing where you're going to make the difference is you're going to make the difference when it comes to your own habits. Because not only are these emotional, you also have control. Now I get you have to spend some money, but you have control over most of these things. Now, when you have a cash flow plan, what it does is it creates consciousness in your spending. It has you think about what you actually want because look, all this stuff is taken care of over here. You're not going to overspend and get kicked out of your house. But at the same time, if I say you only have, you know, if the plan tells you you only have 450 bucks for the week and you know you need groceries, maybe you'll be a little bit more efficient with your grocery spending and you're really going to think like, do I really want to order pizza tonight for the family? Or can we, you know, can we scrape something together in the house and feed each other? Cause I really want to go on date night with my wife on Thursday. All right. So you start thinking, wow, do I want to order pizza or do I want to go on date night? What's going to be the bigger payoff? Probably the date night. You know what I'm talking about? So if you stick to this plan, it's going to show you, Hey man, I'm really clear that I've got my debt repayments over here. I got a certain amount of savings goals. All my stuff's being paid for. If I can play the game, because that's what you get to treat it as, as a game. If I can stick within these parameters and still get to consciously spend and have some fun versus dealing with the shackles of a, of a, of a budget, right? You get to play the game. You know what you're going to get at the end of the day. Why do you want to become better with your budget? Why do you want to have better spending habits? What's your 
What's your dream? Okay, I don't want to sound too airy fairy, but I like that kind of stuff myself. What's your dream? I know what mine is. What I put on my dream card, Legoland. Now I think it's switched to Universal Studios. The kids want to go to Universal Studios, but that's just it. If you knew, hey, it's not just about, oh, I want to be debt free and I want to have a secure long-term financial, financial plan and da, da, da. I, you know, I get all that, I get that. But becoming debt free is not really all that sexy. It's a cool thing, it's a good thing, but what matters is your why. Why are you doing it? Why do you want to become debt free? Why do you want to have a better cash flow plan? It's to take your family on a vacation or it's to renovate your kitchen or it's something that actually turns you on. So I hope this video, you got some value out of it and you, you kind of get what I'm talking about with this crazy tangled mess that I have here. You can slow it down, rewind it, watch it again. Uh, if you're curious about what I'm talking about, you can either send me a private message or please leave a comment below. I'd love to get the conversation started that way. Click the like button and share it with your friends because I'm sure they'll get some value out of it as well. And also, uh, you can see the link below. You can pop over to my Facebook page at The Financial Makeover Specialist. And there'll be a lot of other videos that uh, will make a difference for you and help you create some power and freedom in your life. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.